Hey gang, Mojo here. I just wanted to make a short little video for you with some tips on setting up and using the comp the Champions Online plugin for the Advanced Combat Tracker. So let's get started and advance the installation instructions here. Um, you're going to download the Advanced Combat Tracker from this URL and install it, which should be pretty straightforward. Um, after that, you're going to want to select the location of your Champions Online combat log file. Now, I use Steam. For me, this is the path to my log file. Um, if you're using uh, Arc or some other system configuration, you might um, need to adjust this path somewhat. But um, once you launch Advanced Combat Tracker, this is more or less what it's going to look like. So we're going to go to Options. We're going to open log file and we're going to select the location of our log file. <clears throat> now I'm just using an old log file for test purposes so it's popping up this error uh, but you won't generally have to worry about that. Um, go back to our instructions here. We want to download the plugin from this uh, location in the presentation um, and then we're going to enable it within ACT. So we're going to go to the plugins tab here um, we're going to browse to the plugin. I have it on my desktop. There. We're going to enable it. And you'll see this message uh, with the plugin name and version number. The latest version as of today is 2.0.1. So now we're good to go. Um, <clears throat> at this point, you should be able to log into the game um, and do the slash combat log one command which will um, have champions online start outputting your combat data to the log file and it'll start parsing um, <clears throat> I'm not currently in the game so I can't show you that but what I can do is load um, a historical log file and show you how that works so um, we're just going to the import e export tab here and then we're just going to select a file and you can select any old combat log file that you might have. Um, it's asking you for your, for your character name. It's really not essential or important in any way. Um, but Now it's parsed that log file. And if we go over here to our encounters um, view, we're going to see a list of encounters that were in that log file. There's a bunch of junk and two significant encounters uh, with Gravatar here. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and select one of these. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown um, of the different columns. Here we have the, the names of the characters that were involved in the encounter. The um, NPCs are, um, are in black and bracketed. The player characters should be in green. Um, this is just the, uh, the duration, the amount of time that they were active during the encounter. This is the total damage they did. This is the percent of total damage during the encounter that each uh, each player contributed. Um, what is that one? Power drain. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Come back to that one. Uh, this is the um, the individual DPS for the encounter. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Um, damage taken. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. This is the the number of uh, the number of deaths. Um, so in this encounter we got one for Gravatar and then some other player uh, has two. Um, base damage taken. This is um, damage that was dealt um, before any resistances or dodging or anything like that. Um, and then base damage dealt uh, is, uh, is damage that was outputted by this character before any resistances. This is the overall damage resistance percentage uh, for the encounter and then this is the dodge percentage however I think as I noted um, in a message on the forums um, this is not currently correct so uh, you can ignore that for now. You can drill down to an individual character let's look at Cool Hand Luke because I hear he's cool and then you've got these different categories most of these should be pretty self-explanatory um, but um, let me go over a couple of them. Outgoing damage, uh, that's self-explanatory. Healed out is just healing dealt to other players 
whereas this cure dispel out is self-healing. Um, I'll go into the reasons for those um, if necessary uh, on the forums or at another time, but that's just the way um, that's just the way that the healing is being categorized right now. All outgoing is everything, including healing, damage, whatever that was done to, to other characters. Uh, all incoming is everything that was done to you or to the character you're looking at. You can drill down more. So if we look at outgoing damage, um, we've got the different attacks that this character did, and then a breakdown of the total damage, the DPS, average, um, minimum, maximum, resist type, number of attacks, uh, hits and swings is not really important for champions. We could probably remove that from this particular view as same as to hit um, critical percentage and base damage. Um, and you've also got these nice little charts over here. Uh, another thing I want to show you real quick is if you want to share any information um, that you've captured in the parser, you can just right click. There are some different formats. Um, if you, you could just do copy as formatted text, then this information is copied to your clipboard, and then you can just paste it and you get a nice little, nice little output which you can then edit. Um, similarly, you can um, you can easily do um, image captures with this button right here. Uh, click this, and then you can choose to either screenshot the table, the graph, or both. Um, so that's that. Um, I think the other thing that I wanted to show you real quick is if you go to options and um, output display text output settings. This is kind of neat. Um, here you can create these little um, presets that create summary information of a, of a combat that you can paste into a chat window or, or whatever. Um, so you click add preset and then you select this, uh, this little format where you can create this little format string with all of the different variables that are currently available in the program. Um, <clears throat> and um, so you, could, you can add health, DPS, whatever. Um, and let me show you what this does. When your encounter is, is over, or actually really any time during an encounter, you can just right click on the encounter listing, export custom to clipboard, and then create this little special format um, that we just uh, that we just created, and then the information is going to be copied to your to your clipboard. And then you can paste it into your chat window or whatever. And what this does is uh, these uh, these statistics statistics that we've uh, decided we're inter interested in will be uh, will be outputted in a in a concise little format according to that formatting strip. So here we've got the encounter name the total DPS that the team did, the maximum hit for this, and then each character's DPS uh, sorted in descending order. So great way to annoy your, your teammates is to, uh, <laughs> to, to paste these little stats in your chat window um, uh, excessively <laughs> if they're not interested in it. Um, so that's that. Um, I think that's all that I wanted to show you for now. Um, if you have any questions or problems, feel free to um, to let me know. You can either uh, reply to the forum message or you can catch me online at Mojohama. Um, thanks, and I hope you found this useful. Later.